Taurus, welcome to your end of three for yours and theirs. Before we get started, let's put down the groundwork so we're all on the same page. Yours and theirs is a reading type between yourself and someone else. So no, it does not have to be about a significant other spouse, boyfriend, girlfriend, lover type situation. It's whoever fits the bill and that dynamic as I'm describing it. So do keep in mind, I could be describing a dynamic you share between yourself and say a family member or friend. It's up to you. So take what resonates, leave what does not. Reverse those energies as you see fit. More so with yours and theirs, this energy exchange and interchange is real, rapid, and fluid after all. These are general collective readings, not one-to-one -one private. Which is to say, they may not resonate. And as frustrating as that is, it's also normal. Take care of the placements you will find yourself in there somewhere. Killing it. Yes. Yes, we're killing that intro. It's a good thing, too. It's a good thing, too. Yours, actually. Um, everybody's. A little special today. And I did this on purpose. I'm actually filming on the day of the uh, total solar eclipse. And um, it should be doing its thing here in about an hour. So yours is at peak. Ooh. <laughs> Yours is at peak, honey. Yours is absolute peak. So show me chores in their person. Let's let's peak all over this thing. What's going on, please? Show me chores in their person. Show me chores in their person. Show me. It is what it is. It is what it is. Hi. If you're my regular, you know what's up. For those of you who are new, you're like, what? Yeah. My name's Christina. All right. What's going on, please? What's going on, please? <clears throat> What's going on, please? For Taurus and their person. Show me Taurus and their person. The shade has just started to change outside. Just a wee bit. The big question is, is it going to rain? And I'm like, I could care less. It doesn't matter. It will still be a sight to behold. Even if it's behind the clouds, it's, it's still going to be impactful. What's going on, please? Show me Taurus and their person. Show me Taurus and their person. Show me Taurus and their person. Yes. We're going to start with your side of the board, but as I explained in the intro, reverse those energies as you see fit. <laughs> Knight of Wands. Queen of Wands. Oh, Ace of Wands. We're feeling just a little frisky. Oh, Taurus. Uh, it reminds me of your Aces, which I enjoyed a lot. I even think I got a little cheeky and threw a card. And that's okay, because it fit the bill. And you know what? I like the way you look. So do you. You're like, thank you. I know. I've been feeling good, Christina. I've been taking care of myself. You know, I've been doing my extra spa days. You know, I've been exfoliating. Whatever it is, you look good. Oh, you're talking about cheeky. Wow. Look at you. You just, yes, we are peaking today. <laughs> look at that. I'm sexy and I know it. Yeah, you are. Look at you. Look at you. Oh, you're just gorgeous, honey. You're gorgeous. Uh, Queen of Swords, Justice, Ace of Pentacles. <laughs> oh, I got someone very practical, steady around you, level-headed. Um, heavy air energy right here. Libra may not mean anything to you. That's not the point. Ace of Pentacles, they're showing me an ace as well. Someone is like, practically speaking, I have a strong mind, strong will, and I make those decisions in the coordinates that are correct for me. This is a good investment. Ace of Pentacles. Oh, yeah. What's going on? Strength. <clears throat> Excuse me. Eight of Cups. The Wheel of Fortune. Interesting. Further out. Curious. Very curious. Strength, Eight of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune. That suggests we had to have the strength of will to walk away from something dissatisfying. Time has passed, Wheel of Fortune. So it's not shared entirely. Ah, Christina. There you go. Answer your own question, babe. Thank you. That's why we're here. Okay. <laughs> That's not why we're here. You're why we're here. Yeah, you are actually being subject to change as we speak. But that change tower came by hardware experience. Hardware on you personally and experience. Knowing when it was time to walk, shift, change your mindset, change your emotionality. But allowing that change to come through, the tower is happening it might take you time before you get to where you need to be but uh, the point is that you'll get there so you are open towards a brand new beginning i have someone surrounding you who um also says same but uh this was no easy road to come by it took strength of will perseverance okay to keep moving in a particular direction because it was dissatisfying not because it was satisfying eight of cups we have to remember we're almost there we're so close right 
The clothes doesn't always cut it. Eight of cups suggests I had so many cups in this situation, but it did not fulfill. It did not satisfy. I got so close, but it wasn't a nine. Never mind the ten, right? And I can see people emotionally detached all the time, but they'll stay. And that's it. That's all there is to it. And I'm sure that that was your gig for a while, because if you can use strength to walk, you can use strength to stay. It works both ways. That's why it's always worth clarifying strength. I want to see how it's being used. Tower is in your overview. We are up for change as we speak. Let's do it. Let's talk about it. Oh, today's the day, literally. All right. Show me that tower, please. Show me that tower, please. For Taurus, show me the tower, please. Eight of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups. <laughs> wow, Taurus, honey, look at you. Consistency. Consistency. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You've been emotionally dissatisfied, disjointed, disconnected for a long time. But with that Taurian energy, which moves slower, it's not an insult. It's just how it is, honey. That's how you were built. There's no harm in that. It's just understanding it. That's when it becomes either your superpower or your kryptonite. Okay. Like I said, everything has a pro and a con and make your natural energies and inclination work for you, not against you. Okay. So <clears throat> I don't know how long you stayed around in the eight of cups gig. Okay. Of understanding you were very close to personal satisfaction, sense of self-love, and then therefore connecting with somebody who was in that similar emotional vein with you. The thing is, is that you never quite got to the finish line or it's been a long time since you ever thought you could, you lost your emotions for something along the way, but that was steady wear down consistency, okay? And uh, you can stay that way for a long time. And some people can stay that way indefinitely, you know? It just kind of depends on the person you are. Understanding that this is as good as it's gonna get for me emotionally, that's a personal choice for someone to stay or to go. Just because I see Eight of Cups doesn't mean we're obligated to do anything with it. Like I said, people can stay numb for a long time. And that's one of the benefits of Eight of Cups is that you can numb down to a lot of things. But is that where you want to stay? That's the question. You are trying to answer that question now as you speak. You are answering it. And I'm guessing for the Taurus I'm looking at, you never thought you would. But you are. Whatever it is that you got so close to finding personal harmony with, <clears throat> loving it like you would love yourself. You're saying, yeah, it's close. I got so close. Maybe even I thought I had it one time, but uh, time has shown me that this is not the case. You're like, I could feel nothing and keep feeling nothing. Or I can make conscious and willful change and do the opposite and feel more. Guess which one you're doing? <laughs> so... <laughs> <clears throat> you are headed in the direction of that Ace of Pentacles, so you are going to be connecting to someone in that authentic space that is your master symbol. So, with the intensity and the realness that is you, okay? There's your authentic self, the best of you on display. Your heart marches forward into the proposal of a solid new beginning. But that, I'm not saying that's happening now. I'm saying the premise for what you do in future is happening now because you are now currently subject to the tower understanding what you've been doing and how it no longer serves you. Congratulations, that's half of Cantero right there. <laughs> understanding something is no longer for you. I don't care if it took you months, seasons, or years. The point is, is that you understood. You allowed yourself to be influenced by that radical sense of change, which isn't so radical if it took us years to build into it, like I think you have. It's just acknowledging it and accepting it for what it is. That's real power. That's real power right there. I bet you told yourself you could keep doing this. 
Come to find out, you could. But that doesn't mean you should. Ah. Congratulations. How long it will take you to live through that tower, I don't know. Taurus, of course, moves much slower. So a tower for you could take a while. The point is, is that you are allowing it to come through. Otherwise, I wouldn't be saying this for you. So it looks like I'm excavating then. Excavating, excuse me. Your energy now and how it's shaping now. To propel you for aces in future. Which again, I don't remember the ins and outs of your last reading. But I just was really impressed with that uh, new opportunity that you were forging for yourself. The universe was giving to you a combination of the two. So if you resonate with this one at all and you didn't miss that one or you skipped it perhaps go back and watch that one okay all right you feel a little frisky you look good knight of wands uh, i'm not saying how you're going to achieve this energy is going to be easy but i like how you feel or you will feel in future okay let's see that knight of wands I like how you gave me that time bank. Yes, 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 yes. But this, I'm working through this right now. But this, yes. Mark my words. Okay. <laughs> Let's say that Knights of Wands, please. Show me that Knights of Wands. Show me that Knights of Wands. Show me that Knights of Wands. This done. The Page of Pentacles, the Five of Wands. Yeah, there it is. That's what I'm saying. You're showing me the transitory energy now. You're being affected by change now. You're going from a place that was negative or detached, and you're trying to reroute it, if you will, into something more positive, something that fits you, hope for the future, all that jazz. And it starts with investment. So it's looking to me like you've been fighting for a long time to really get in touch with who you are and to coax those traits and characteristics forward about how you've been perceiving yourself and what it is that you would like to see for yourself or you last remember feeling good about yourself. You're like, I want to get back to that, Taurus. That's what you're saying. Because you're showing me energy that's actually very familiar to you. You just haven't been able to access it in a long time. Okay, so it's been a fight. It's been a real struggle for you to invest in yourself the way that you would like. Okay, and that's a problem. If, if Taurus can't do this, we got problems. Okay, for you to fight for your own sense of happiness, for your own sense of joy, for your own sense of freedom, your own sense of warmth, to be just freaking happy and the right to live it, the right to pursue happiness right there. It doesn't look like a lot until you're constantly met with opposition. I think this is who you really are. I think you're someone who leans more towards, uh, like I said, natural sense of enthusiasm, hope, diligence, anything's possible, being open to possibility and experience, but you haven't been able to access that investment in a long time. Okay. Because um, people, when they're naturally happy, it shows. They don't show me emotional detachment and wanting new and that it took them a long time to understand this. They just do it because they already are. Right? So some very simple concepts here that once more, you've had a right job of trying to access. Okay? We don't want that. Let's take a look at this Queen of Wands. Yeah, I think you're in the process of conversion right now. <laughs> That's so wonderful. It's nice to actually catch you live. You can see that Queen of Wands, please. Show me that Queen of Wands. Show me that Queen of Wands. Show me that Queen of Wands. Show me that Queen of Wands, please. The Hermit. Yeah, based on experience, judgment, guys. I can't make this shit up. You're showing me who you are. How you're out of touch with that person, how you're out of touch with that Taurus, how you want to get back to it based on experience. This isn't frivolous. This isn't on the surface. This is deeply much who you are, and you have been deeply and uh, not been able to access it for a long time. Good for you. Good for you. 
Good for you, Taurus. I'm serious. Look at that. The Hermit, Judgment, Three of Cups. I'm telling you, this is not for... It looks so light and easy on the surface because that's how you remember yourself being happy. <laughs> you know? But that comes from wisdom, experience, and insight to say, I know who I am. And I haven't been allowed to be that Taurus in I don't know how long. Look at that. The Hermit, Judgment. You have some really deep spiritual wisdom an insight attached to you, a sense of knowing without perhaps being able to articulate. Because what you're showing me is emotional and spiritual energy that you're accustomed to, but you haven't been able to access in God knows how long. And you just want to get back in touch with that. That's your insight. That's your lesson. That's your calling. And that's also, P.S., your judgment call. You are making those judgment calls now. I don't ever. It's, it's, it's like seeing a Taurus live in the wild. It's like, oh, oh, oh. Look at that. Let's let's get the camera out, kids. We're going to take pictures of it because it's, like, it's hard to capture you live. I typically see you after the fact on almost everything, you know? So this is amazing. This is happening for you now. You are getting really smacked back down into who you are, and it's beautiful. It's light, but it's also highly productive, knowing of itself, a spiritual essence of growth. This is me. This is what I'm about, and I like being happy. I miss being happy and light and fulfilling of my own self and needs, whatever that is. And you're like, I haven't even been able to invest in myself in the most basic forms of happiness, and I don't know how long, because you've been detached, as we've discussed. And the Three of Cups is here. Um, in the you are reconnecting with yourself in a deeply emotional, spiritual way, based on experience, time, and everything else. You like who you are, and you remember that. You are remembering that. You are remembering, I like me. I, I miss being in touch with me. I love this for you. This is wonderful. I'm not saying you're perfect. No, not at all. I can tell that, you know, you're earthy, yes. But you have a, a beautiful patience and steadiness attached to you that says you're experienced and you're wise. You know, you're a reliable figure too. And it's like you want to be able to rely on yourself again for that good, positive energy and to invest in yourself appropriately without bullshit hang-up or squabbles or arguments, you know? I love this. This is great. Really is nice. Let's see that Ace of Wands, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see you connecting when the timing's right. Once more judgment's here, Wheel of Fortune is here. Uh, the more you make progress in this particular tower, the more it's going to launch you into that. Let's see that Ace of Wands, please. Let's see that Ace of Wands. Show me that Ace of Wands, please. Oh, yeah. You have a fair amount of pride in you, too. You might have some very prominent uh, Leo in your chart. Okay. We have a touch of cancer in there. That's not really the point. Yeah. I squinted at that five of pentacles. I'm like, why is that there? <laughs> no, I'm seeing it as your hope that's been broken or that you've been uh, feeling fragmented from a sense of hope or passion or new beginnings, uh, experiences, whatever that is, that you've been feeling disenchanted from it, separated from it. You're saying, well, that's, that's changing. Uh, the chariot and strength with your own kind of commanding force of will, you would be moving forward in due course. And uh, this idea of fear of abandonment, you're going to leave that behind like a eh, like a, a bad feeling, an old fear that you can do without now. You're saying it's right for you to move forward and that you haven't been more psyched up in your life. But it's imaginable. I mean, look at that. Look at that strength of will. You're like, I will not be separated from this idea of hope. That's the whole point of getting back in touch with me. It's like I still hope for myself. I still have a calling in me. I still can feel good about me, my direction, my choices, and my feeling. That's all here. You will not be separated from your hope. You will be moving forward. I know that's very open-ended. That's okay. Sometimes it needs to be. But I do know this. I do know that your pride is important to you. Okay. And uh, it's that same strength of will that's propelling you forward. With the chariot and your own particular strength of conviction. This summer might be very important to you. Specifically Cancer and Leo season that are indeed back to back. July, August. Okay. 
I just see you moving forward on your terms. They're good terms. When somebody kind of reawakens into who they are and what they're about and why they're here, it's always good terms. Okay. Well, it's time to welcome this Taurus back into the world. Excellent. Very good. And I'm sorry that you were in a position where you have to lose touch with yourself and the world that you were meant to preoccupy. Those days are over. Dog days are over, honey. Florence in the machine. Those dog days are over. Now, who's this? We got a Queen of Swords, Justice, Ace of Pentacles. What's going on? Show me that Queen of Swords, please. Show me that Queen of Swords. Show me that Queen of Swords. Show me that Queen of Swords, please. Somebody who says, you know, they know their mind and they know their sense of spirit. Emphasizing fairness here. I'd like to see a little bit more of their softer side, though. Let's see the Queen of Swords. Strong mind, strong face, perhaps strong words as well. That's all right. Yeah, but I do want to see them soften up a little bit. <laughs> That's a very commanding, you know. Let's see that. Ooh, ooh, oh, 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 oh. They got kind of an outstanding special feeling towards you, which they suppress. Let's make that clear. That is active suppression. <laughs> That's, they, they're showing me a knight of wands too. Uh, but it was pointed at you, or at least they're saying it was pointed at you, or they choose not to. That gets blocked. They said they're quite practiced at this, the seven of pentacles. They are used to suppressing that energy towards you. A little bit more on the passionate side, a little bit more of the... <laughs> they're kind of used to suppressing it. They squash that, though. They squash it. They're like, no. And that's a conscious decision on their part. Okay. So they don't just uh, put it out there, eh? All right. All right. All right. I can play tough. That's cool. Show me justice, please. Show me justice. Show me justice. What's going on there? Show me justice. <laughs> yeah, they play it cool, eh? <laughs> I got them. I got them. I got them. So, we know each other just a little bit. A little bit. Uh, matching frequencies. Yeah, it's your choice. I say you mostly, back to your main definition here. You connecting with you, and it feels good. Why do you? It just feels like you're so much, like a thousand times lighter. Like the suppressions over that sense of smothering the self and who you are. That's over. It just you feel so in tune with yourself, and I love this about you. I love that. Like I said, the dog days are over. You're getting back, and I love it. But this is not a coincidence, darling. No, no, no. Judgment with three cups. The both of you are sharing that right there on the midline. And with confidence, yeah, they play it cool. They got a poker face. They got a poker face towards you, whomever this is. Sharp mind, all that kind of thing. Possibly sharp words, you know, seven of pentacles, seven of wands. They have experience, <laughs> non-rust experience suppressing their passionate energy. So on the upfront, it might be like they're playing cool, okay? Like, uh, pay attention more to my words than my actions, thank you. That kind of thing. That's cool. I respect that. That's fine. I was like, maybe that's just who they are. All right. Don't give too much away. Cool. All right. That's fine. Then I go over here to Jeth's DS. Apparently, this is <laughs> a balance that behooves you both. Okay? In terms of, um, we're going to weigh in on the skills for the both of you. Whatever it is, you two are being connected by something that's bigger than the both of you to balance the scales or recalibrate the scales. It's kind of like uh, justice is due on both sides here. And it is a spiritual decision for both of you to consciously and willfully connect 
and or reconnect. Oh. Trust me, they have natural energy towards you. Very much so. It feels good, but they've learned to suppress it. <laughs> or at least not to show it on its face value. Not right away. Kind of a bit of a poker face on this person. A little bit of a tough nut to crack. Okay? But at the emotional and spiritual value, you both feel the same calling. In that sense of, uh, we're supposed to connect to this. And it's going to feel just about right. That's just about right. Why is judgment and three of cups attached to you both? You're supposed to connect and or reconnect? I mean, that's a really big spiritual poke on both sides. Hey, you two, knuckleheads. We need you both to connect now. That kind of thing. It's laid out super casual. <laughs> <laughs> like it's no big deal because the three of cups on surface presentation isn't it shouldn't be you can have social connectivity with anybody or reconnect socially with anybody and yet that's a that's a that's a big elbow in the ribs on both sides hey you two connect it's quite the spiritual nudge you're getting the both of you there let's say that person's ace of pentacles uh huh you're saying I got to do what I got to do. I will not be disconnected from my sense of hope, passion, or drive. Cool. I love that. I love that spirit. That's great energy. I love that. Golf. It's my life. I got to go. Let's do this. I love that. Total respect. I want to see this person's Ace of Pentacles. It's so curious. It starts off just like, yeah. I got a thing for Taurus. Good luck trying to pry that out of me. <laughs> It's a bit cheeky, but they're so practiced at it. It's like they don't give nothing away on that face value, eh? All right. All right. So I don't get it. I get it. But it just, it was so deliberate because it's coming from the Queen of Swords. So that's active. I'm not going to tell you. Cool. Let's say Ace of Pentacles, please. Mm hmm. Let's say Ace of Pentacles, please. But on the inside, make no mistake, they like it. They like connecting with you. Okay. Let's say Ace of Pentacles. Oh, yes. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Tower. The Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> so pentacles, the tower for you, marching off from that which does not satisfy into a new opportunity that represents a natural flow state for your heart from going from this, which is absent, to something that is represents fullness, okay? Hope, a sense of drive, passion for yourself, as discussed. I love your reaction. I love that you just feel so free and light. You look fantastic you feel fantastic i love this keep this going um yeah jump over here it's like the plot is thickening y'all we got some thickening in here okay well that that is what that is ace of pentacles nine of pentacles the tower there it is again surprise whatever ending we thought was here is not that's a tower that's being blown away for this person. They thought there was no Ace of Pentacles with you. The tower is coming along to fix that particular thought or false construct. So the tower, you must remember, it uh, does away with the falseness, illusions. That's why I said there's a good chance many of you thought you would never walk away from this. That was an illusion with the tower. Okay? Like I said, it's very easy to get into that place of Eight of Cups, and this is just how it is. You can stay there or you can do something about it. You're doing something about it, although I can tell you thought you never would. And then your Ace of Pentacles marched on. I didn't know that it necessarily had anywhere to go, but apparently, I mean specific. And yeah, it does. There's that tower. This person, Nine of Pentacles, their individual self, they believed your Ace of Pentacles would never go anywhere near them. Not like that. Turns out we are happy to kind of rid this person of that particular illusion. It's like 
There'll never be anything of substance between Taurus and I. So no wonder they got that poker face. No wonder they're playing it cool. No wonder that they are suppressing their natural sort of, this is how I actually feel about you. We're not going to show that. That kind of thing. Uh, because up until that point, you're kind of mind blowing them here. Up until that point, they had no reason to believe that that was going to happen ever. <laughs> they were absolutely a thousand percent convinced that this wasn't going to happen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they, they really didn't. Uh, so you're kind of surprising this person. Um, and it's a beautiful surprise. They really did not expect your ace of pentacles ever. Okay. To be on the receiving end of it, um, or that it would mean something substantial, okay? Or that if there was an ending here between you two, that that would ever be shifted. Okay, there you go. So this, this person's a little surprised. So it's no wonder they're like... <laughs> they can't keep a straight face <laughs> as much as they would like to. So that's why it's a little bit of the cool, the coolness there. Okay. Uh, so what the history is, I don't know. I'm not doing history. I could care less. I am more interested about where you are in present day and jumping you forward into the future, assuming that it's correct for you. And as far as I can tell, it is. Uh, you look like you're very much in command of yourself, who you are, what you're doing, why you're doing it. And that's all I care about. So long as you're in alignment. And what I really like, though, is that Five of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, you're like, I will not allow fears of abandonment to override my sense of joy, optimism, or moving myself forward. And I love that. That that really made me happy. Your whole line just made me happy. But when I focus on someone else's energy, what you're showing me towards them is that um, it is a bit of a spiritual nudge on both sides to connect with this via choice. We all have choice in this. They're choosing to because they're saying it's right for them, even if they have a cool demeanor on the outset. If you know them at all, it probably makes sense to you, okay? Like, I got to go towards this. They feel the same. <laughs> but that little illusion of theirs is being, well, well I never saw that coming. <laughs> I like it. Their, their reaction is making me laugh a little bit because I like it. I, like, I think that this person is very much used to understanding what the hell is going on. So I, that's another reason why I think I see them pull back at the emotional level. Like, I don't know what to put into this right now. So I'm just kind of remain blank on this. Um, but even they're like, okay, you got me. You surprised me. Okay. Kind of like that. Well, I enjoy the reaction a little bit. Um, all right. Let's take a look at the strength, please. Show me strength. Like I said, you might have some very prominent Leo and or Cancer in your chart. I do know that your pride and sense of firmness of will is important to you. Just remember, if it's your superpower, it can also be a kryptonite, so just be careful how you use it. You, like I said, you can move it to push yourself forward, propel yourself forward, or pull yourself back. This time I say you use it to launch yourself forward, but that's on the background noise of understanding you're using pride to hold yourself back, too. All right, so let's take a look. Show me strength, please. Show me strength. Show me strength. This is further out. I really like yourself over here. I cannot emphasize that or underscore it enough. I mean, it's just... I like that. You really had to get in tune and fight almost in a very real way for who you are, what you're about, what it is you're doing, why you're doing it, so on and so on and so on. That's what I'm saying. Once upon a time, you used strength to work against you. The same level of pride that's for, that you use to push yourself forward, walk away from whatever this is, this unhappiness that you have been part of or feeling, once upon a time you used it against yourself too, and then you said it was fair, which clearly it wasn't. But that's something that you had to learn in time when you became so emotionally numb and shut down from you shooting yourself down and putting yourself down and et cetera. Uh, you can only take so much of that before you realize, hmm, my this need I have to show restraint or refrain is that helping me or am I just being really unkind and cruel to myself um, by constantly keeping myself in check from not doing what I did I need to do for myself, you know? So whatever your background is, you have a little history too here with justice. You're saying I, I am right to deny my strength of will. I am right to deny this, that, and the other. And um, many of you are, you know, 
you treated yourself the opposite of what you're trying to do today and in the future. Okay. Um, hopefully, like I said, those days are over. Telling yourself to be strong and it's okay and you can suppress and it's just a matter of pride and being strong and showing restraint. And, uh, but in that, you created a case of disjustice for yourself. Okay. So this is going to be one of those situations where you had to pay the bill on this one. The more you deny who you are and what you're doing and why, you owe yourself an explanation at the end of the day. Okay. You know, and that might be why I saw such a distinct stamp over that Ace of Wands that says, I'm not going to allow fear of abandonment, what if, or hurtful constructs of the past determine my future. Because for some of you, that's your history of suppression, full stop, for fear of that. Right, so we often think without understanding that we're doing it consciously that if I just suppress what it is I want to do or who I am, I'll be safe and I can't be hurt. No, you, you end up hurting yourself. That's what I mean by you pay the bill at the end of the day. You either where you want to be in this life or you're not. Okay, and that really does come down to a series of decisions, how much we love ourselves and understanding through realistic experience what is viable, what isn't. Um, and being open to learning lessons and influence from the self. Okay? That was a lot right there. Woo! All right. I'm going to touch on the Eight of Cups once more since it's such a prominent feature in your reading today. Let's see the Eight of Cups, please. I want to make sure that there's no loose ends in there. Let's see the Eight of Cups, please. Let's see the Eight of Cups, some of the Eight of Cups, some of the Eight of Cups. Five of Cups, mm -hmm. Two of Pentacles, Queen of Swords. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're not the only one. They're not the only one with a strong mind. You have yours too. You used your strong mind against yourself over and over again, and saying, "If I don't know what's practical, I'm going to default to what will hurt me least." And that's one of the things that added up against you over time. Uh, something that you had to learn to stop doing, like an old habit, without a clear sense of direction. I'm just going to kind of reminisce about the stuff that didn't work out, and that will help keep me in check. Okay. So, again, I'm not picking on you. It's just the, the process. You had to come from somewhere, honey. You can't have that level. Okay, of improvement and self-insight without having come from the exact opposite. Hopefully I'm pointing that out to you. This is where you're, what you're trying to become, reacquainted with the best parts of you, and stop assuming to default to the worst parts. Believing in yourself more. And remembering the parts of you that work, that are positive, light, and beautiful, and in touch with reality. And leaning out of insecurity, pessimism, and I can't have that. Okay. You had to come from somewhere. You came by this, honestly. Who you are today, the Taurus you're trying to become today, and then for the Taurus tomorrow, you had to come from somewhere that was the opposite. This is the opposite. One of the reasons I don't really look into the past anymore is that people more often than not will tell me. And you're doing a good job of telling me where it is you're trying to be because you understand a little too well where you were. And you didn't like where you were. And for some of you, you still are. This is going to take time. Okay? All right. Let's see that Wheel of Fortune. We all got to come from somewhere. See, I, I know, right there in the split. There you are. I have fun with that Five of Pentacles. Some of you have a very strong history of reinforcing the worst parts of yourself based on fear, loss, abandonment. It won't work out. For Taurus, this is a very serious issue. All 12 signs has superpowers. You have some beautiful superpowers. Therefore, you have kryptonite. You will often commit to the worst things or settle because you're afraid that there can't be much else out there. This might be as good as it gets. The more I want something, the more it could hurt me if it leaves or I can't secure it. And for Taurus, security is a big thing. The more something isn't obviously clear 
Two of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, that it's secure. The more emotionally insecure you tend to get. And that's when you start making decisions. I'll say yes to this. I'll sign up to that. I'll contract to this. And then they can't leave me or I can't be hurt by it. And that's how Taurus gets caught in their own web. So know what works for you, not against you. The more you fear this, the less true you are to yourself. And then you become like this. Okay? Never secure. So there's a reason why. Did you notice how I paused when you showed me that Five of Pentacles over the Ace after everything you just showed me? You had to come from somewhere. A big part of the Taurus I'm looking at, you have a origin story. You have an origin story of disappointment and loss and and in all that fear, you lost sight of yourself, yeah. I see the real you, and I hope you do too. Okay. Like I said you had to come from somewhere, eh? And you've done a beautiful job, trust in that. I see that's uh Will Fortune. Oh, it's so exciting. You're under the tower now, you guys. Seriously, this is so exciting. All right, let's see that Wheel of Fortune, please. Let's see that Wheel of Fortune. Oh, yeah, I'm already over 40 minutes. Oh, yeah. That's all right. That's all right. It is what it is. Eight of Pentacles, the Knights of Wands, and the, 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 there's that Ten of Swords. What the heck, man? You were rising above an ending. I can't see it here today. But you showed me I'm walking away from dissatisfaction. You're saying you're, you're walking away from this idea of less, okay? Um, you, 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 you keep showing me new beginning. And you're working through an ending that says, I am better for it. Okay, I don't know what that is to you, but it's there. And it's going to be or has been a big marker in your life. I am better for this ending. If it means I get to be me and I'm growing into this, so much the better for you, you're saying. That night of wands I told you, you are converting your energy over here and how you're opening. What you're going through now, which may seem difficult, I promise you it opens up tenfold for you later. It does. And then I see someone connecting to you in time. There is some sort of ending here between you two. I can't fully get the scope of it today. They even said, there's no way I'll ever see Taurus's Ace of Pentacles, and they really believed it. Okay, otherwise that tower wouldn't be there claiming that notion. And that same ending, that Ten of Swords, which I guess wasn't a real ending. There's no guarantee, by the way, with that Ten of Swords. It's like, whatever that Ten of Swords represents, it impacted you both. But you rose above and beyond it. That ending, or whatever it presents itself on your timeline, influenced you a great deal. It puts you into this position of wanting so much more for yourself. Not just understanding where you are in present day, but putting you into a place of remembrance of who you used to be in the yesteryears that was stronger. and stronger, but you remember what it's like to have faith in yourself and faith in feeling, not being confused and shut down and numb and then in denial about what you want and who you are. Whatever that is, was for you. It's getting you to where you need to be. Okay. You'll connect with this person in time. And then no doubt you two will take it from there. <laughs> like I said, you're both getting nudged in the ribs, eh? But I like how you're speaking so well for yourself. That's what I'm saying. I know that there was separation here and longing and all that jazz. And this person wrote it off as an impossible thing. It's like, well, I'll never see that towards again. Kind of like that. And it was that same level of separation that perhaps told you how much you were separated from yourself. Okay. Trent, I do what I do for a reason, guys. It says transcendence and unity. Unity with the self. Okay. Unity with the self. Transcending. Confusion, illusion, Neptune, new love. Oh, yeah. That, whatever this 
was, whatever you last connected with it, this person, that's part of the illusion. That's part of the illusion package. I see it. It's right there. They really thought that whatever, they, they're like, this is stupid. Why did I ever believe that there was something developing here? It was an illusion. So they really, no wonder they're treating it with such a cool outside. Because they really believe that something was there. And they're like, no, that was stupid. They believe that. That's why that tower is hitting them so particularly hard. It's like, I thought I had no influence on you at all. I didn't know I impacted you at all. So present, that's what I'm saying. Present time, credit, gratitude, abundance. Be present, be mindful. You're getting to where you need to be. Taurus, this was absolutely fascinating. It put me in mind once, once I did a, uh, back when I was doing private readings with a client, it was so live time, everything was happening within an eight hour window. And <laughs> it was wild. Uh, it was really cool too. Um, the feedback I got was amazing. Even for me, I was like, look, there's some parts you're reading. I, ha I don't pretend to understand. I can only tell you what I'm seeing here. And within eight hours, everything had been confirmed. <laughs> Yours is in that vein of... There's a lot of lifetime components based on an accumulated past that is launching you into a more fulfilling present day future tour that's shaping now in remembrance of how you used to be prior to this land of confusion years, okay? Getting you back in touch with the parts of you that worked prior to that and then also who you are, the parts of you that you've yet to discover, okay? So uh, hopefully it's not too confusing to you because I'm seeing it's parts of it is so live and present, but it's based on the elements of hard-earned past, but with also a hard-earned future attached to it. So I know it's a little bit all over the place. Hopefully it helped make sense of it for you or help you with it. Um, but I really like where you're headed. I do. Trust that. Okay. okay, like I said, put in the comments. <laughs> Take care. Be well.